college hockey, take notice. The UMass Lowell Riverhawks are for real. The number eight team in the country at home today against New Hampshire. And they do just fine. 6-3 the final. He's Barry Melrose. I'm Clay Matvick. And uh, what they're saying about Blaze McDonald's team, I think, is the truth. Because they think he might have their, his best team so far. Well, we walked in here not really knowing what to expect. UNH isn't off to a great start. But they still haven't lost in Hockey East. So you got to think that they'll turn it on and get things going. They walked into a, into a hornet's nest. Uh, Lowell was behind twice. Tied going into the third period. And they just turned it on. This team is for real. They play a real good style of hockey. Their goaltending is very solid. I really, really impressed with Lowell. Here in the third period, Lowell scoring four times. They had a little help with the power play, but Holmstrom was excellent. And right there, Foster was cheating. He was playing the pass across Cardinal Sin. Right here, you're going to see uh, a great individual effort right there by Ballerini. Steals the puck, beats the defenseman, tips it ahead. He doesn't score on it. Fleety gets the goal. But Ballerini just had a great game. We talked about him before the game. Just a fantastic individual effort. That's how you win hockey games, folks. And right here, Ed, or right there, Charles just has a great shot from the point. Uh, they, they scored two power play goals right from that same area. Just great, great puck movement, great, great shot. New Hampshire takes its first loss. Even though Butler played very well, one of the captains for New Hampshire, but it was too little too late. One of the few mistakes the Lowell made in the neutral zone, the defense got a little too close. But look at this puck movement. Four or five great passes, a nice little tip right there. And right here, Shells just goes wide. Just a rocket of a shot beating Foster over his shoulder on the short side. Spectacular shot, just capped off a great third period. A great effort by a very, very good hockey team, Lowell. And we're going to hear from these guys all season long. As you take a look at the stats, pay special attention to the power play. I'll tell you what, that penalty kill for New Hampshire, if it doesn't shape up soon, it could be a long year in Hockey East for the Wildcats. Well, uh, right now, New Hampshire's given up seven power play goals in two games. You're not going to beat anybody at any level giving up seven power play goals in two games. Again, three power play goals for Lowell, who's got a very good power play, over 20%. Uh, and again, it's how they do it. They're, they're a very simple power play, and when you're simple, you can't you can't go into a slump. They shoot the puck, they attack the front of the net, and they get rebound goals and screenshot goals. You don't go into a slump with that power play. That's going to do it from Songa Serena in Lowell. Once again, our final score is 6-3 Riverhawks. If you didn't see our game on ESPNU, be sure to log on to ESPNU.com. Type in your zip code at the top of the page, or call your local cable operator or satellite provider. For Barry Melrose, I'm Clay Matvick. So long from Lowell, Massachusetts.